Hello everyone, now this video will show you the detailed steps on how to recover the last videos from the Dahua DVR systems. Now we double click to open the Dolphin DVR video data recovery software. Now we are using the first software module, CCTV DVR. Click start now. So for the very first step, we need to know the image, Dahua image file. So we select this image file, select the partition, and next we can use this one, deep analysis to detect the DVR brand. This list is the DVR spot list. And sometimes if users are not sure about the DVR brand, so users just simply click the analysis mode directly to recognize the DVR system. So now we can find out that the program has recognized two possible brands for this image file. Usually, we select the top one. So we select this one, and next we click OK. And here we can simply rename this task and click OK. Yes, because I have ever worked on this image file before, so we can overwrite the existing task. We can find out that the dates are detected. That means the videos within these dates have been detected and now are being analyzed. Here we can check the analyzing speed. So we just wait until this analyzing process completes. Here we can see the remand time. It's about 3.5 minutes. Please note that this is just one sample image file and we can find out the total size is about 15 GB. This is just a part of the DAFA DVR system, not complete. But here we can also find out some raw videos. The raw videos have extension names with DAV. So we just need to wait now because the whole process for analyzing and video carving are automatic. So we don't need to do anything. We just check the log and the file window. After the analyzing completes, we can switch to the file window and then we can find out all the possible cameras and the videos will be nested on the right side of the window. Now we can see that there are only 2.4 minutes. So this one is very easy to use to recover the lost videos from Da Hua DVR system. Please note that for the analyze mode, we are using the deep analysis. So sometimes if this doesn't work, we can go to view and select device 
and we can try custom analysis to set up another task. And we can try to put a name with custom to tell the difference for each task, like fast analysis task, deep task, custom task. So usually we can use the deep or custom for the Dagua DBR system for this one. Now we can switch back to the directory window or the log window. Now we can see that the progress is almost complete. Sometimes for digital forensic engineers, they may need the online checksum and here in the setting, we have the read only, the right blocker here to tick this one. That is to ensure that the original devices are read only. Not any of the right operations are allowed on these original devices. And the another option is the MD5 checksum and we are adding the SHA1 and CRC checksum options here together with these two options. So this one is mainly used for the digital forensic engineers from the law enforcement agencies. Now for common data recovery engineers, uh, this one is not necessary. Because if users tick the MD5 or other checksum options, the analyzing speed will become slower than the normal speed. Now we can try to check the channel one. This is camera one. And here is the video. And we can see that this is a preview video to preview. And this one, and we check camera two, there's a channel two. And here we can close the preview and then we can check the other videos. Now let's try to recover this camera two and select these two videos to recover. Recover marked. Now we select the desktop and we save these two videos on the desktop. And now we can see that the program is recovering these two videos. Now we can see the total size of the two videos and this is the current size that has been recovered. Now we can check the log window too. After the recovery we can go to desktop and check the videos and play the videos because these are the raw videos from the DVR systems. So they are named with the DAV. So for this kind of raw videos, users must use the professional H264 or H265 players to play them. Users cannot use the common available players in the market because most of the normal standard video players don't support this kind of raw videos. Now we can see that the two videos have been completed for recovery. 
Now we go to the desktop, and we can find out this is the channel two. That is the camel two. We double click to enter, and we can find out the date of the videos we have recovered. Now these are the videos we have selected and recovered. Now let's try to play these two videos with the Dolphin Professional DVR player. So we need to use this player, select videos, and before we select videos, we can click this settings icon, and here we need to tick. That means to add the associated files to playlist. All the files with the same extension will be added to this playlist if we set this one. Now we select video and select channel 2, select the folder and we select one video. So we just select one video and all other videos with the same extension file have been added to this playlist. Now we can try to switch to another video and we can see that with the Dolphin DVR player both videos can be played properly. So that means these two videos are perfectly recovered. So this is the detailed step on how to use the Dolphin DVR to recover the last videos from Dahua DVR system. And we go back to the main interface of the Dolphin DVR Pro and we can see this is the whole support list for all the international DVR systems. And later, Dolphin team will add more DVR new systems. Or users can send us some sample image file of the unsupported DVR systems. And Dolphin engineers can add them to support in a very short time. Thank you for watching this video.